Good morning. I'm in Amesbury Central Car Park. And I now have 10 hours to complete the Old Serum Challenge, which is a walk from Amesbury down to Old Serum Castle, and then looping round and coming back up. Uh, I found this route on the Long Distance Walkers Association site. It's half past seven in the morning. My car parking lasts till six o'clock at night, so I shouldn't have a problem. <laughs> Let's hope. It looks like it's going to be a hot day, though. I could tell from the map that this was going to be fairly standard housing estate, and it is. But luckily, I do this bit at the beginning. I don't get many hills in Hampshire, where I live, so this is a bit of a change for me. This is just as you come out of Amesbury. The site itself seems to be next to uh, the housing estate, so I can understand why the Long Distance Walkers Association had you starting at the community centre. Probably cheaper parking. I paid £4.50 to park at Central Car Park, which doesn't mean that I don't have to walk around Amesbury when I finish. It's straight off the countryside and back to the car, which I think I prefer. Besides, the councils need some money during lockdown, or after lockdown as we now are, I think. Right, that's about three miles in, and I'm just outside Amesbury now having walked through the urban area, which I have to say I wasn't looking forward to, but actually it wasn't that bad. A couple of locals were looking at me, but it's quite a nice estate. But now I'm on this track, and it's lovely and cool. Oh, it's nice to be out. The path takes you up beside Boscombe Down, which has lots of security notices. And I didn't see the one that said about no videoing until after I'd taken the video. So that lot will now be deleted. Do you think somebody's trying to send smoke signals? Looks like it. Just come off the section beside the A345 down from Boscombe Down and you get greeted with this beautiful view. I have to say it's nice to uh, finally be away from the A345 because although you're on the other side of a hedge it is noisy and that last little bit you have to walk actually on the edge of the A345 and somebody actually stopped and said to me that it gets very dangerous very soon and luckily that was just after the point where you turn right away from the A345 but much appreciated that the gentleman stopped because yeah I could see that it would be very dangerous walking alongside that road for any longer than you had to As this is not a waymarked path, GPX file is really important for this. Uh, there aren't a great deal of signposts. It's quite easy, but I would certainly recommend having a GPX. It can be downloaded from the Long Distance Walkers Association, although now you need to be a member. If you want the GPX that I've used or created during this walk, uh, I'll put a link down below.
Lots of things you see every day. Bumblebee nest. My first view of Seaworm Castle. There we go, from Salisbury Cathedral, Spire, right round to Sarum Castle. View back towards Salisbury from the south of Sarum Castle. It's very pleasant. Now walking away from Sarum Castle, just had some lunch, connected up the hydration pack because it is getting even hotter and heading back north again. Um, I've done 10 miles, the route back takes about 14 because um, there's a bit of a loop in the middle of it. There is a bit of road walking after Old Sarum. It looks pretty and very quiet at the moment. I said previously it's not a walk unless there's a llama involved. And there we have llamas. Don't mind his hair mate, you have very big ears. I don't know what you are. But it is strange. <laughs> right, there are many things I would not have expected to see today and that is definitely up there. Just let you take that in. It's a camel. There is actually a trout swimming down there. Beautiful around here. Another short section of road walking. Not much of a pavement, but the woodlands are very nice. This is old chalk pit. You can just sit up in the back there. If you take the road from Middle Waterford over to Upper Waterford, you can cut five and a half miles out of the journey and a very steep hill with steps. Oh, look at these cornfields. They just seem to go on forever. It's absolutely stunning. It's almost worth that climb. This bit where we start following the Monarch Way, it's a bit difficult to believe that this is actually the path, but it is. There's a lot of insects about. There's a lot of overgrown path. I'm thinking this is due to lockdown, and less people getting out and about. Always good to see the pigs on a walk. Oh. We're now at the top of the loop that I started at Middle Woodford, uh, just over two miles back. Uh, the views have been absolutely lovely and the pigs have been very entertaining. And we're now going to do the top of the loop and then come back down into Upper Woodford. I'm going to get to a shade with a view 
I'll have my last grub stop. I've got about six miles to go now. This loop has been quite challenging. The slope up was tough and the um, up here is there's just no shade. So it's really, really hot at the moment. I hate to think what the temperature is. But luckily I've got a lot of water, so I'm okay. Because I haven't seen many water points on this walk at all. That's what I meant when I said I wanted a, a stop with a view. I think we can say that's a view. I have a feeling that the walk down into Upper Woodford it was just as painful on my legs as a walk out of Middle Woodford, which we did about six miles ago. Just after Great Dunford, you enter this very welcome cooling wood. I've got about three miles to go. After the searing real enters heat above the two wood Woodfords. This woodland is, oh, it's a joy. It's not lovely and cool. I can admit now that my legs are beginning to hurt. back at Amesbury from whence I started this morning and the sign says Amesbury that way but unfortunately for some reason the South Serum, the Old Serum Challenge goes this way. I hope the South Mill is worth it. But I'm about a mile and a half away now Nearly back at the car now. The past work dropped down to the River Avon. Serum challenge? It's been a challenge. It's been good though. It's going to be about 24 miles, just over eight and a half hours by the time I'm finished. It's a really hot day. Uh, didn't see many places to get water. Luckily I was carrying enough. Um, yeah, if you want to do it, you could cut out the loop near the Woodfords. Um, which would take off five miles or you, and cut off the bit in the town which would take off another mile but yeah it's a good one I've thoroughly enjoyed it but you do need the GPX uh, as I say there'll be a link to the long distance walkers association one below and I'll also put a link to the one I've used uh, in case you're not a member okay I'm just gonna walk back to the car now and a couple of little shots please subscribe please like please comment if there's anything you want me to do in the future until next time